Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. There are many Tespians who joined the movie industry when there was really no money. They were being paid peanuts, but these are the Tespians that laid the foundation for what Nigerian movie industry is today. Lots of Yuba actors and actresses have multi watching endorsement deals and side businesses. The new generation of actors are able to monetize their talents. Well, that was not the same situation for the well-respected living legends among us. Delo Odule joined the movie industry in the year 1982. That was when he had his first appearance. And since then, he has not looked back. He began in a drama group called Oloko Theatre Group under the mentorship of Mukala Adebi. He made his debut appearance in the year 1986 before he shot into the limelight after starring in the movie titled Tioluwa Nile. Today, Delo Odule has starred in over 100 movies and is also a multiple award winning actor. But with all the success attributed to this industry, even before now, a lot of their fans want to know what kind of house does Dele Odule live in? What kind of cars does he drive? Dele Odule is also among the test players who do not show off on social media platforms. In fact, it seems the older generation do not really flaunt the acquisitions on social media. But in these days, we all flaunt acquisitions as a way to tell ourselves well done and also to give thanks to the Almighty for blessing our hard work. It was at the beginning of this year that this veteran Yoruba actor Dele Odule shared his newly completed home, plush home, in Ibadan, part of Oyo State. As he went on to motivate his fans that he was able to build a house because of his consistency to pursue his vision regardless of the setbacks and distractions. And sharing the photo, he wrote, I have been consistently following my vision and that is the reason why I constantly open my eyes. Of course, Delio Delay might have acquired some cars over the years, but not in the recent years. So this is Dele Odile's new plush home. Please stay with us if you want to know some interesting facts about this veteran Yoba actor, Dele Odile. This veteran actor, Dele Odile, was born on November 23rd in 1961 in Oru Ijebu, Ijebu North local government area in Ugo State. He's a Nigerian film actor, producer, and a Tespian. He would be 60 years old this year. For his education, he attended St. Mark Primary School and the Tamari Secondary School in Oru Ijebu. He also trained as a teacher at Muslim Teachers Training College in Oru Ijebu before he proceeded to the University of Ibadan in Oyo State where he studied theater at. As mentioned earlier, Dele Odile made his first appearance on TV in the year 1982 and has not looked back since then. He began in a drama group called Oloko Theater Group under the mentorship of Mukala at DBC and he made his debut appearance in 1986 before he shot into the limelight after starring in the movie title Tulu Wanile. At the 2014 Yoruba Movie Academy Awards, Dele Odile won the Best Actor in Supporting Role was also honored with City People Movie Lifetime Achievement Award. Over the years, Dele Odule has featured in hundreds of movies, including Tiolu Nile in 1993, Odudua 2000, Afonja 2002, Olorire 2003, Ogede Didu 2003, Obolobo 2003, Shuku Shuku Bamba 2004, Omole 2004, Iwia Kosile 2005, Idajo Miti Day 2005, Erife 2005, Okoja Ofin 2007, Aye Biro 2007, Olo Deoku 2009, and Aworo 2012, just to mention a few. This veteran Yuba actor has been married now for over 26 years, and he has been blessed with nine children, five boys and four girls, including the two. He has five graduates, some working on their master's program, and one working on a doctorate degree. The other ones are in boarding schools. They come home during the holidays and he takes them to schools and picks them up for holidays. Some years ago, this veteran Yoruba actor was in a joyous mood following the wedding of his daughter, Esther Odushola Ituna, who got married to Abiyo, Raymond Agbomo, on May 26th in Ibado in Oyo State. The bride was said to be working on her doctorate degree at that time, whilst the groom is an IT specialist. This actor was pleasantly surprised as his colleagues turned out en masse at the weather. The staff spotted that they include Rosso Dika, Fiti Abalogun, Ayade Sonya, Bolaji Amushon, Oduladi Adekola, Ola Yaigwe, Femi Adibayo Salami, Atalani Yotunya Adibola, and many others. And on his personal life, how he met his wife. They met while he was in Abokuta. She just finished her secondary school then, I was pursuing her A-levels when they met. And then they started and somehow it eventually ended up in marriage. Well, he said that he saw that she had good home training and he also saw love and true Africanism. That was what led to his decision to marry her. He met his wife in the year 1989, but then they formalized their marriage in the year 1996 
after she had completed her university education. But before then, they were already living together and she already had children for him before they officially made everything formal. And this 60-year-old Tespian says that marriage is an institution ordained by God. It is a school where you continue to learn every day. Also in an interview, he advised people who were searching for the other one, the missing rib. And he said that they should be careful in choosing who they will go into that institution with. It is an institution that has no date that you graduate. You have to continue that school till death do you part because you're coming from the same because you're coming from the same background doesn't mean you behave the same way. He says there are two things which are important in marriage. The first is tolerance, and the second is also tolerance. Everybody should learn how to tolerate each other. There is no paradigm of perfection. The man will definitely goof, and the woman will also do the same. If you both start to look at perfection from your own point of view, you won't get it right. This veteran Yoba actor has been acting for over 40 years now and he celebrated 40 years on stage in the year 2017 where he told Sunder Scoop that talent was the most important factor every actor needed to succeed in the industry. In his words, no matter what anybody tells you differently, the single most important factor to succeed in the industry is talent. If you have money and connections without talent, you may become popular but you wouldn't last. Nowadays, a lot of people come into the industry thinking they can make it just because they have good looks. Well, I don't blame such people because the industry has been bastardized and it has become an all commerce affair. In those days, you could never come into the industry without proper training. In those days, you could never come into the industry without proper training. But these days, it seems nobody cares about that and everybody does whatever they feel like. It is indeed sad and I'm worried for this profession. For people like me, this is the only job I have and I wouldn't want to see it go to real. So how exactly did this test man come into acting? Well, the environment he grew up in encouraged him to join this profession. He grew up in a village where there were lots of activities, entertainment activities, dancing, drumming and singing. So he discovered that he could do all these things after leaving modern school. He saw different travel theatre groups coming and putting up almost the same performances which they used to pay to watch. After he decided to go into the profession, he decided to do better than all those people he used to see in his village. Also, this Thespian is among the Thespians who went back to school after they attained fame. He said he had to go back to school to broaden his knowledge. When you go back to school, there are some things you will get to know more about. Secondly, he wants to eradicate illiteracy in his immediate family because he doesn't want any of his children saying that he's just an actor and not literate. We have come to the end of this episode on this veteran Yoba actor, Dele Odule. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let you know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.